What's happening, folks? Back with another reaction, back with some more live aha. Uh -huh. And we're going back to the deluxe edition of Scoundrel Days for the remaining live tracks from Croydon. I reacted to the Train of Thought live performance in Croydon many moons ago, like a year and a half ago. Nevertheless, we're back for that now, continuing with the tandem of one demo and one live tune, and we're going to hear a live performance of I've Been Losing You. I won't talk about the lyrics, I won't talk about how much I enjoy this tune. People who've been following my AHA deep dive for a while will know. This is one that I put up in the Pantheon, not only sonically, but also lyrically. Curious to hear how it'll sound in a live performance, or a live performance from this era. So, let's hear it. This is AHA, I've Been Losing You, live in Croydon.
that keyboard on. I had been forewarned about the screaming teenagers at this show, and definitely you can hear the, not only enthusiasm, but the youthful quality of that cheering there. But yes, it's funny, because going through the live performances from the mid-90s, what we heard here isn't that full blues rock rendering of this tune, but it's closer than to that than I would maybe expect it to be, given that this is still in the 80s. So... Again, it doesn't fully sound like the the more rock-heavy, blues-infused public performances that I've come to know in at least a few cases from the next decade, but it doesn't sound like the heavily drum machine, keyboard-driven version on the Scoundrel Days album. So, yeah, an interesting performance. I certainly think it's the sonic quality it's better than a couple of the more bootleg tracks that come from the playlist from Centrum Scene in 94, but it still sounded a bit less clear than their formal live CD releases, like How Can I Sleep With Your Voice In My Head. Now, maybe that makes sense, because those would have been mastered and recorded with probably the best available technology to make it as close to a you know, clear, direct-line audio that it could be, Whereas maybe some of these live tracks, they weren't originally released, and then when you get around to the deluxe edition, it's like, well, let's throw that on there, even if it's not mastered to the same sonic quality as our live releases officially. But yeah, it sounded like Morton's vocals were a bit more, not bootleggy, but a bit more secondary sound level, whereas the bass and some of the instruments had a more direct line type of sound, so I don't know if other people hear it that way, but that's the way it came across. But yeah, fantastic, some moments with Paul's guitar where it, it does hit on that bluesy, wicked sort of sound. I love some of those keyboard lines, and that dancing one really came across with a vivid sort of sound. And again, Morton not going as like hot and crazy where it's sort of burning as in some of the live performances I've heard but definitely a couple moments where I think he exceeds the intensity of the album track so yeah just a cool performance looking forward to these other live in Croydon songs I was gonna say performance but then I would have just repeated performance and now I've told you about it so we're in this sort of meta space nevertheless I am looking forward to the other tunes in this deluxe folder do let me know what you think of this performance and I will see you next time peace <laughs>